We are students from the International School of Samui. Samui is a small island located in the Gulf of Thailand in Southeast Asia. We're a truly international school with over 35 different nationalities represented. Which makes this a very cool school to be at. Although Samui is an island paradise, we love it for its natural beauty. However, the island does face a new problem. The amount of plastic which is not biodegradable ends up washing up on the beach hurting the wildlife and the environment. So, faced with this problem, we researched and came up with a solution that if we could find a renewable and sustainable replacement for plastics, then we might as well use this instead. So, here's what we need to do. Pour 25 centimeters cubed of water into a beaker and add 3 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. Measure 25 grams of corn flour into a petri dish and pour it into the beaker. Add heat gently for about 15 minutes. Measure the pH using universal indicator paper and add a few drops of sodium hydroxide to neutralize it and test again. Pour out the mixture into a petri dish and leave it to cool. Many products which are currently made from plastic could be changed into this new and improved material. Photosynthesis is where a plant gathers carbon dioxide from the air, water from the soil, and collects the light energy from the sun. And these reactants combine in the leaf to release oxygen back into the air and make glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar, and it is this sugar which we will need to harvest. Glucose is a soluble sugar, which means it can be dissolved into water, which wouldn't be a good material to make water bottles out of. But cellulose is made from glucose molecules forming into long chains. This has the strength of what we need. Think of glucose as a paperclip and cellulose as a long chain of paperclips. It is the cellulose we'll use to make our plastics. We could get cellulose from just about any waste plant material and reform it into more useful things like water bottles, carrier bags, or even iPad cases. So think twice before you bin your rubbish. <laughs> <laughs>